Namaste. Today I'm going to talk on the beautiful concept of Jainism. It is one of the Indian philosophical system written in sutra format. I'm not going to talk anything based on religion but the importance of its philosophy. Jainism is believed to be one of the world's oldest religion. It's most characteristically known by its white colored monks and nuns who are vowed to a life of poverty and great austerity. They strictly adhere to the rule of ahimsa, non-killing and harmlessness to such an extent that they carry with them a small broom with which to sweep their path clear of any insects lying along their path somewhere thin veil over their face to prevent insects from being inhaled and for a similar reason they strain all drinking water today the jains are a minority but once they were powerful and numerous they have built great temples throughout india and some still stay there the founder of jainism was mahavira who lived from 599 to 527 bc his background is similar to that of the buddha and when he reached enlightenment he thought the way to others he is said to have had great success in attracted 50000 monks and half a million lay followers in his lifetime like buddhism jainism is said to have originated and developed in the region of bihar but at a time of famine in the 3rd century a great number of monks migrated to south india in the south the jains are mainly of digambar whereas in the north shwetambar at the heart of jainism lies a carefully formed path which leads the faithful from the fetters of unconditioned existence they believe in self inquiry and introspection of their sadhana there's no fixed regulation for the practice and the way variety of techniques they choose they get up early in the morning and repeat his own mantra silently counting his repetition on his fingers or a mala what i am what i am who is my ishta devta who is my gurudev what is my religion what must i do and what shouldn't i do all make a vow sankal every day he makes a small resolution today i will not sit down more than 15 minutes or for one week i will not drink tea or coffee for one month i will keep an hour silence so this kind of small sankalps vows they of usually perform jain meditation exercises can be practiced in the sitting or standing however it is recommended that the place of practice should be more disagreeable than comfortable and pleasant an important part of the practice is seeing one's mental condition becoming aware of how and one perceives sense objects become passionate about it and stay undisturbed there are lot of techniques in jainism they have offered during mahavira time preksha dhyan shwas preksha animesh preksha sharir preksha vartaman shana ki preksha ekagrata preksha dhyan is one of the technique where you have to go inside and look your own ability cultivate awareness and be away from attachments likes and dislikes shwash preksha is the process where you are breathing and continuously aware it's a part of the preksha dhyan second stage of the preksha dhyan is animesh preksha when you are just gazing at one object and do not allowing your mind to wander in stage 3 sharir preksha where you are visualizing the object and then you start visualizing from top of your toe to your head and noticing your posture and even the expression on your face 
पोस्ट चैप्टर्स वर्तमान क्षणा की प्रेक्षा When you are वर्तमान क्षण every moment, every present moment you are being with yourself, observing the discomfort, pain, how's your mood, how's your thought. Stage फाइव ekagrata, fully concentrated on one point. You concentrate on psychic symbol, mantra, solid object, or it can be an abstract. So this one stage one to four is practice five minutes every day, and the last stage is practice for five to minutes to as much as you can stay in that condition in that mudra. I hope you like the gist of the Jainism and especially Lord Mahavira teachings. There are lot many teaching what Mahavira has offered, but uh, for now this is enough for you to understand. And if you want to know more in detail, please. put up a comment or you can whatsapp me or direct message me as well namaste happy mahavir jayanti